Blast me to Bermuda. It's the Mad Merlin Presents. Review of the Charizard deck from the Pokemon trading card game Battle Academy Box. Hello, welcome back to another Mad Merlin's unboxing review. We're going to run through the Charizard deck from the Pokemon trading card game Battle Academy set. I think this will personally be my favourite. Not that I have a soft spot for Charizard at all, but here we go. Charizard GX evolves from Charmeleon, has HP of 250, is a fire type Pokemon. Its flamethrower attack does 140 damage, and its flare blitz GX attack does 300 damage. You can't use more than one GX attack in a game. It has a two times weakness to water, no resistance, and a free energy card. Retreat cost. When your Pokemon GX is knocked out, your opponent will take two prize cards. Charizard, stage 2, evolves from Charmeleon. Has 160 HP. Has the ability Resolute Flame. This Pokemon's attack does tax. Do 30 more damage to your po opponent's active Pokemon for each of their Pokemon GX and Pokemon EX in play. Fiery Blast. 130 damage. Discard a energy card from this Pokemon. Has a 2 times weakness to water, no resistance, and 2 energy retreat cost. One car copy in this deck. Charmeleon, stage 1 Pokemon, evolves from Charmander. Has a HP of 100. Has Slash for 30 damage, and Flamethrower for 80. 2 times weakness to water, no resistance, and 1 energy retreat cost. You have three copies in this deck. Stay. Naughty. Charmander. Basic Pokemon. HP, 70. Scratch for 10 damage. And Flame Tail for 20. Has a weakness of times 2 to water. No resistance. And a retreat cost of 1 energy. You get four copies of Charmander in this deck. Moltres. Basic Pokemon. 120 dam HP. Assisting Heater. You may attach a Fire Energy card from your hand to one of your benched Pokemon and deals 30 damage. Then Fire Wing, dealing 90 damage. Has a weakness of times 2 to water, no resistance, and a retreat cost of 1 energy. Only one copy of Moltres in this deck. Salazel. Stage 1 Pokemon evolves from Salandit. Has a HP of 100. Its Fire Claws attack deals 70 damage, has a times 2 weakness to water, no resistance, and a retreat cost of 1 energy. Three copies of Stalazel is in this deck. Salandit, basic Pokemon, HP of 70, has Live Coal for 10 damage, Combustion for 30 damage, a times 2 weakness to water, no resistance, and a 1 energy retreat cost. You get three copies of this card in this deck. Flareon, a stage 1 Pokemon, evolves from Eevee, has 110 HP. Its Bite Attack does 20 damage, its Fire Spin deals 130 damage, but you discard two Fire Energy cards attached to this Pokemon. As a times 2 weakness, 2 water, resistance of nothing, and 2 energy retreat costs. Two copies of Flareon in this deck. Basic Pokemon, Eevee, has a HP of 60. Its Gnaw Attack does 22, 20 damage, <clears throat> and has a times 2 weakness to fighting, no resistance, and a single energy retreat cost. Two copies of EV are in this deck. Kangaskhan. Basic Pokemon, HP 120. Fetch, draw a card. Headbutt for 30 damage, and 1-2 punch for 60 damage. Flip a coin, if heads, this attack does 30 more damage. Has a 2 times weakness to fighting, has no resistance, and a retreat cost of 2 car two energy. Two copies of this card are in this deck. On to the trainers. We have Trainer, Item, Potion, heal 30 damage from one of your Pokemon. Two copies of this card are in this deck. Great Ball, Item, Trainer card. Look at the top 7 cards of your deck. You may reveal a Pokemon you find there, put it into your hand. Then shuffle your deck, the other cards back into your deck. You get 4 copies 
of Great Ball in this deck. Trainer, item, switch. Switch your active Pokemon with one of your benched Pokemon. Two copies in this deck. Trainer, item, Pokemon Catcher. Flip a coin. If heads, switch one of your opponent's benched Pokemon with their active Pokemon. A single copy is in this deck. Trainer, supporter, Cynthia. Shuffle your hand into your deck, then draw six cards. You may only play one supporter card during your turn before you attack. Three copies of Cynthia is in, are in this deck. Trainer, supporter, how? Draw three cards. You may only play one supporter card during your turn before you attack. You get four copies of How in this deck. Trainer, Supporter, Bug Catcher. Draw two cards, then flip a coin. If heads, draw two more cards. You may only play one supporter card during your turn before you attack. You get two copies of Bug Catcher in this deck. Welder, attach up to two Fire Energy cards from your hand to one of your Pokemon. If you do, draw three cards. You may only play one supporter card during your turn before you attack. Then Pokemon Fan Club, Trainer, Supporter. Search your deck for up to two basic Pokemon, reveal them and put them into your hand, then shuffle your deck. You may only play only one, one Supporter card during your turn before you attack. And finally we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 Fire Energies. So, that's the cards in the deck. Let's have a quick flip through the Charizard Guidebook. Be much the same as the Pikachu deck. You are a Pokemon trainer. You and your opponent will face off in a Pokemon battle and try to knock out each other's Pokemon by attacking with your own Pokemon. The first player to knock out four of their opponent's Pokemon wins the game. The two booklets will guide you and your opponent through your first game of the Pokemon trading card game. Each player takes one of the booklets and the cards that go with it. Just match up the picture on the cover of the booklet with the one on the card box. For video tutorials and more, visit pokemon.com slash battleacademy. What you need for this tutorial game. The two player game board, two tutorial deck guides, Charizard deck and a Pikachu deck, one coin and some damage counters. Each box of cards makes up a deck that is designed to be played in a specific order. The cards in the deck are numbered on the lower right to show you the order you should play be in your deck. With the face cards face down, card one goes on top of the deck, then two and so on. The numbers let you reset the deck if you have any problems, and then you can start again from the beginning of this guide. Setting up to play. Put your deck into the spot labelled deck on the game board. Do not shuffle the deck. Draw the top seven cards of your deck. These cards become your hand. Put Charmander from your hand to the spot labelled active spot on the game board. You may only play a basic Pokemon in this way. You'll see the word basic on the upper left corner of the card featuring a basic Pokemon. 4. Put the top 4 cards from your deck face down on the spots labelled card prize cards to the left of the game board. This, it doesn't matter which spot each card goes on. After both players have finished setting up, play can begin. You will go first. Remember, you win by knocking out 4 of your opponent's Pokemon. How your side should look at the end of turn 1. Or setup, should I say. Your first turn. At the beginning of your turn, draw the top card of your deck and add it to your hand. It's a fire energy card. Take an energy card from your hand and attach it to Charmander, as shown to the right. When you attach an energy card, you put it underneath the Pokemon you're attaching it to. Energy allows your Pokemon to use their attacks, but you can only attach one energy card during each turn. The player who goes first cannot attack with their Pokemon on their first turn. That means your turn will end now, and it's your opponent's turn. They should turn to the page 5 in their own booklet. How your how the game board should look at the end of turn 1. Your second turn. Draw a card from the top of your deck. It's Salandit. Put Salandit face up on one of the spaces on your bench. You can only play Pokemon, basic Pokemon on these spaces. 
and you can only have up to five Pokemon here. Attach an energy card to Charmander. It now has two energy and can use its flame tail attack. To use a Pokemon's attack, you must have enough energy cards attached to it. Charmander's first attack requires one energy and the star symbol tells you that the energy can be of any type. The second attack requires one energy of fire and one of any other. Because you have two fire energy attached to Charmander, you can use either attack. The number to the right of the attack tells attack name tells you how much damage it does to the Pokemon in your opponent's active spot. Tell your opponents you're attacking with Flame Tail. It does 20 damage to the Blitzel in your opponent's active spot. So put two of the damage counters and say ten and that say ten on Blitzel. You don't have to remove energy cards from your Pokemon to use the attacks. The energy stays with it and keeps powering its attacks. Attacking is the last thing you can do on your turn. So it's now your opponent's turn. They should turn to page 7 in their booklet. End of turn 2. Your third turn. Draw a card. It's a potion. A trainer card. Play the potion. To play the trainer card, follow the instructions on it. Then put the spot labelled Discard Pile on your game board. Potion heals 30 damage from one of your Pokemon, which means removing damage counters from it. Remove three damage counters from Charmander. Attach an energy card to the sand it on your bench. You can attach an energy card to any of your Pokemon in play. Use Charmander's Flame Tail attack to do 20 damage to the Blitzel in your opponent's active spot. It is now your opponent's turn. They should turn to page 9. End of turn three. Killed Merlin. Fourth turn. Draw a card. It's Charmeleon. Evolve Charmander into Charmeleon. Charmeleon is the evolved form of Charmander. In the top left corner of the card, you can see that it says it's stage one Pokemon. Stage one Pokemon are played on top of basic Pokemon, and the text and picture will show you which basic Pokemon you can evolve. Stage 2 Pokemon are played on top of Stage 1 Pokemon. Stage 1 and Stage 2 Pokemon cannot be played by themselves. They must be played on top of another Pokemon. Put Charmeleon on top of Charmander to evolve it. All the damage counters that are on Charmander are now on Charmeleon, and all the energy cards attached to Charmander are also now on Charmeleon. You can only evolve a Pokemon that was already in play at the beginning of your current turn. Attach an energy card to Charmeleon. It now has 3 and can use its flamethrower attack. Tell your opponent you're attacking a flamethrower, which does 80 damage to Pikachu. This is more than Pikachu's HP number, so Pikachu is knocked out. The Pokemon and all its attached cards go to your opponent's discard pile. Your opponent moves one of their Pokemon from the bench to the active spot. Take a prize card. Whenever you knock out one of your opponent's Pokemon, you take one of your prize cards. That's how you keep score. When, you, when a player takes their last prize card, they win the game. Your opponent should now turn to page 11. You have finished this guided portion of the game. Continue playing until one player has knocked out four of their opponent's Pokemon and taken all their prize cards. Now the game looks at the end of turn four. What's next? After you finish your guided game, you can reset the decks by putting them back in order with card one on top of the deck. Come on, focus. Thank you. and then two, and three, and so on. Then, follow the steps to set up the game and play again. But this time, you decide what you want to do on each turn. Or, you can take the next step and shuffle your decks before you set up, so you get different cards and have a different choice each time you play. Once you feel comfortable playing this way, you can check out the Advanced Rulebook and the Psychic Type U2 deck. What you do on your turn? 1. Draw a card. You must do this at the start of every turn. 2. Put a basic Pokemon onto your bench, as many as you want. Attach one energy card to one of your Pokemon, only once per turn. 4. Retreat your active Pokemon, only once per turn. 5. Evolve a Pokemon, as many as you want. 6. Play trainer cards, as many as you want, but only one supporter per turn. Finally, attack with your active Pokemon. If you cannot attack, tell your opponent your turn is over. There we go. That's been a rundown of the Charizard deck from the Pokemon trading card game Battle Academy Box. This has been Merlin. I'm mad about painting. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe. 
And also click the affiliate link in the description for Keraton Games, where you can purchase this amazing Pokemon card, trading card game set. Thank you for watching again, and goodbye.